Ron Hunter, and I'm an Applications Engineer with CML Microservice. The purpose of today's video is to help you get up and running quickly with CML's new QAM and RF demonstration boards. In today's video, we will assemble evaluation boards and perform tests with them. Let's review the evaluation boards we will use in today's movie. The PE0002 is a USB connected PC interface card. This board acts as the host controller for the application. The PE0601-7163 is the evaluation board for CML's new QAM modem IC. The EV9980 is the evaluation board for the CMX998 Cartesian Feedback Loop IC. Since QAM is a linear modulation scheme, the ability of the CMX998 to linearize an RF power amplifier makes it a great fit to test with our QAM modem. The last board we will test is the EV9920B. This is the evaluation platform for the CMX992 RF Quadrature Demodulator. The first step is to assemble the boards, so let's do that now. Connect the PE0002 PC interface card to the PE0601 QAM modem board. Use the CVS1 port of the PE0002 for the connection. To complete the transmit side, connect the EV9980 Cartesian feedback board to the PE0601. Now to the receive side. Connect the receiving PE0601 QAM board to the CBS-1 port of the PE-0002, the EV9920B should be connected to the PE-0601 board to complete the receive side. Now that the boards are connected, it's time to wire them up. Let's review the RF, baseband, and power connections for these boards. But don't turn anything on yet. We'll do that once we get into the scripts. For the transmit baseband, We'll use coax cables to connect the SMA connectors on the PE0601 and EV9980. Use the TXI- and TXQ- connectors on the Cartesian feedback board. For the received baseband, first remove the jumpers from J24 on the receiving QAM board. Once the jumpers are removed, Use a 10-pin ribbon cable to connect J24 on the receiving QAM board to J20 on the RF demodulator board. Now we can move to the RF connections. For the transmit LO, connect an RF signal generator to the LON SMA connector on the EV9980. For our tests, this frequency will be 900 megahertz at minus 10 dBm. Connect a 50 ohm load to the TX out 400 megahertz SMA connector on the EV9980. We will use 50 dB of external RF attenuation in this test. Since we want to view the RF output on a spectrum analyzer, connect the 50 ohm load to an RF splitter. One port of the splitter will connect to the spectrum analyzer. Connect the other splitter port to the EV9920B RXN1 SMA connector. We need an LO source for the receive board. Connect the second RF SIG gen to the EV9920B RXLO SMA connector. This SIG gen will be set to 990 MHz, but don't turn it on yet. The baseband and RF connections are done. So now we'll move to the power connections. Each PE0002 requires a 5 volt connection, and the PE0002 then supplies 5 volts to its connected QAM modem board. The transmit PE0601 board requires a negative 5 volt supply for its single ended SMA interface. Connect a 1.2 volt supply to pin 15 of EV9980 J12 connector. This is the enable signal for the RF power amplifier. Connect a 7.2 volt supply rated for one amp to the EV9980 plus V supply. The EV9980 RF power amplifier requires a 3.6 volt supply that is rated for two amps. Connect that supply to the PA connector. 
Don't forget to tie the 7.2 volt and 3.6 volt ground wires together and insert them into the ground connector. The last power connection is for the receive board. Tie a 7.2 volt supply, rated for one amp, to the EV9920B board. The boards are connected and wired up. Now let's install the PE002 on your PC so we can run a script. Visit the CML website and do a search for the PE002. You will be taken to the PE002 page and once there, download the PE002 support package. Unzip the PE002 support package. Connect your PC to the PE002 with a USB cable. Turn on the 5 volt supply for the PE002 and install the USB driver when requested. Go ahead and turn on the minus 5 volts for the transmit baseband circuit. Now we are ready to run the script. Launch the ES002 executable file. We will refer to this as the transmitting PE002 GUI. Select the function image load tab in the GUI. Locate the latest CMX7163 function image file on your PC using the browse button. If you don't already have this file, you will need to download it from the CML technical portal. Click load to download the function image into the first PE0601 board. You will see a message on the screen indicating a successful download. Now let's launch a GUI for the receiving boards. Go ahead and load the function image into this board as well. The first script that we will test today uses a transmitted pseudo-random bitstream. This script will let you see the CMX998 RF output in both open and closed loop modes. In the Transmit GUI, select the Script Handler tab, then click Select Script. Find the PRBS script file. The script walks you through the process of turning on power supplies and RF signal generators. The RF power amplifier current from the 3.6 volt supply will be zero when you turn on the supply. This is normal because the power amplifier is not enabled yet. You should be able to achieve 20 to 30 dB of carrier suppression through adjustment of VR1 and VR2. The first spectrum you see results from CMX998 open loop operation. This is how the spectrum looks without the 998 in the circuit. Next, you will see the output spectrum from closed loop operation. As you can see, the CMX998 provides outstanding linearization of this nonlinear RF power amplifier. When you are finished observing the RF spectra, click OK and follow the on-screen instructions. Now that we have connected the boards and ran a script, let's take a look at a data transfer test. This script results in data being passed from the transmit board to the receive board. Select the receive GUI and click the script handler tab. Find the receive data script and click the run button. Now select the Transmit GUI and click the Script Handler tab. Find the Transmit Data script and click the Run button. The Receive GUI indicates that the data was successfully received. 
So, in a very short time, we have demonstrated a QAM and RF data link complete with RF power amplifier linearization. This concludes our video. Please contact CML if you have any questions or if you would like more information about the products that you watched today. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.